Hey guys, it's your boy Troy here, with the first video in a series I like to call Kicking It Old School, where I play some last gen games and tell you how active they are, how the servers are holding up, a reminder on the gameplay, and sum it all up with a verdict of whether it's still enjoyable or just nostalgic. Today we'll be playing Dead Space 2 multiplayer. Alright, so first we're going to start off with player activity. I've been playing for a few days now, and I've been able to find matches every time I get on before around 11 on weeknights. After that, the community pretty much starts dropping off, but on the weekends, it'll last a little later. Sometimes I come into matches with only two other people. Typically, this is due to there only being like one full match going on and stragglers trying to start up a new one. This is usually fixed by either waiting a few minutes for a fourth to show up, or exiting and re-entering matchmaking, and hopefully jumping into the full match after someone has either lagged out or left. Keeping all of that in mind, from what I can tell, there's only a handful of people actually playing the game at a time, but I have noticed a good amount of new people jumping in lately. So now we're moving on to servers. I've had a few occasions where I was disconnected from the server in the middle of the game, which is annoying because you lose any XP you've gained so far. But jumping back into that same match typically isn't too tough. So far I haven't had any problems with lag, other than one game I've played recently, where the necromorph bots were spazzing out all over the place and disappearing for a moment. Other than that, the game plays very smoothly, but you also need to take into consideration your network and the network of the host. Moving on to gameplay. I have to say, I'm addicted to this game. It's not for everyone, but if you're a fan of the series, it's a lot of fun. It goes without saying, even though I am, that playing as the humans is substantially more enjoyable than playing as the necromorphs. The only game mode they have is objective based, where the humans need to activate terminals, destroy artifacts, and carry packages before the timer runs out. After completing an objective, more time is added to your countdown. As a necromorph, your job is to stop the humans from moving on to the next objective. Every human is equipped with a standard security suit, which you can unlock different paint for by ranking up. There are a few paints that are only available by killing a player using that paint. The starting loadout for humans will be the standard pulse rifle, plasma cutter, and one shot for your stasis module. After leveling up, you'll receive more weapons, such as the line gun, force gun, seeker rifle, and javelin gun, to use as your secondary weapon. As you level up, you unlock increased magazine capacity and damage for your weapons, as well as up to three shots with your stasis module. As a human, you'll start with one med in your inventory, but you'll be able to pick more up as you kill some space zombies. There's also a five second respawn delay, and the respawn points change as you progress through the objectives. As a necromorph, you will be able to play as the pack, which are the creepy space zombie children, the lurker, the space abortion, the puker, he's the one with the tentacle arms, and the spitter, which looks like the regular necromorph, except he's able to project televomit across the map. All of which are available to play as from the beginning. Each necromorph has a different respawn delay. The more powerful the necromorph, the longer it takes to respawn. So the fastest respawn is the pack. Then it's the lurker then the puker, and finally the spitter. You will respawn through various vents of your choosing, throughout each objective area, which can come to your advantage. There will also be a number of bot necromorphs that spawn throughout the match to help you swarm the humans. Each necrom necromorph, including the pack, has a ranged attack, but every space zombie has a melee and a grab attack. Grab attacks will typically take a player down to about a quarter health before he stomps your head in, Unless you have a few buddies swarming him, or he's already been hurt before you dug your claws in. As you go through the ranks, you unlock increased melee, range, and paired damage, as well as increased health and stasis resistance for each necromorph. The most important thing to remember for both sides is teamwork. As humans, if you don't protect the dude that's activating the terminal or carrying the package, you'll never move on. As a necromorph, if you don't attack in a pack, you'll just keep getting killed. Alright, so now it's time to tell if you'll get some bang for your buck, or if it's only good for nostalgia. I say for the price and how active it is now, you'll definitely get some good times out of it. The community is still active, and you'll receive the occasional friend request you typically get from a small group of players like this one. 
used copy from GameStop is $5, and it's $20 from the Xbox Store. It's well worth the purchase if you're a fan of the series. Anyway, thank you for checking out my video, and I look forward to shooting up some space zombies with you guys.